Hi everyone, Linda here. It's time for the 2016 swaps to begin at your paper pantry. And the two swaps that I host are the Artsy Fartsy Ticket Swap and the Christmas Card All Year Long Swap. And this video is going to be about the Artsy Fartsy. And I'm going to change it just a little bit because we kind of got away from the tickets last year. So it's going to be Artsy Fartsy Pocket card kit swap. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to make a kit for a pocket, one pocket of a pocket letter. And the swap is going to be limited to nine people again, or ten people. And uh, you have to check back to see how many kits you need to make. And the theme for the first month is going to be Valentine's Day because this opens now and you have to have your things to me by January 25th. Your kits need to be in by January 25th so they'll be good for Valentine's Day ones. That's just what I was thinking. Anyway, so the, what my kit's going to have and it's going to have a red piece of cardstock and then a glittery piece. Now it all depends on how many people we have. I don't think I have quite ten of these, but I do have some other glitter paper. So it'll have either this one or um, like this glitter paper for my kit. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my kit together. So what you're supposed to do is if we have ten people, you will make ten kits and keep one for yourself and make that one for yourself and then send in the other nine so that you'll have your ten. Okay, so then I'm going to put this piece of paper and this is some really neat paper that I got that was embossed. It's just, it's almost like a piece of cloth paper and I want to put that on the back here. I think I'm going to use some glue for that because it's pretty fragile paper and it might um, come apart if I try to put that tape on it. It might just tear it. So I'm going to put that on next. And this is the way you can put the kit together that I'm sending you, but you don't have to put it together this way. But these are all the parts that are going to be in my kit. Then there's going to be a piece of lace and I have a few of these but I have tons of lace so you'll get a piece of lace I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this one for me and again you're making kits even though I'm putting mine together then the next thing I'm going to put on here is a little charm or embellishment that I made and the way I made this is I got these bottle caps at Tuesday morning I got a big bag of them and then I took some paper I had like this and used a circle punch and just punched out the hearts and they're kind of shiny and all I did was glue them in there I didn't add anything to that. And then I'm just taking my, I think this is a, called a crop dial, and punching a hole in it with that. And then I had these little, I found these little heart things that I had from um, Tim Holtz that I hadn't put together or used. They came with stickers and then these epoxy hearts. Let's see. I had a couple extra ones, but... I don't see where I put them. Anyway, so that it came, oh, here they are. It came with um, these stickers, the little charm, and then the stickers, and then these little epoxy hearts. So I just put those together. And then I'm going to take a jump ring and put it all together. So my two pliers here and just twist it open. I'm going to put the heart on first and then put it through the bottle cap. Like that. And there they went to 
together nice and tight so that one's done. So that's the way I made this. Then in the kitchen there's also going to be a little um, metal bow and this bow um, had was purple like that color purple. I don't know if you can see the difference in the video but I just took my Oh, what are they? Copic markers and colored it red. I think I just took a little bit off there. But anyway, so I'm going to put some glue here and put the little bow up here. And then I made a bow out of um, this twine that I want to put down here. Oh, I didn't glue that on yet, did I? So, and the way I did this is I just took this red twine, and this is from Lawn Fawn, and I just went around my fingers twice, kind of like that, and then scrunched it together. Cut it off, and then I cut off another little piece to go, just to tie it like that. And I wanted it kind of big and floppy and just like that. Okay, so then I'm going to put that on here like this. Then I have um, a bunch of little wooden things. I have like this little um, Cupid or I have some of these little, um, I think they're called potty people these little guys and I want to put those on the bottom down here so I need a little bit of glue here for my bow and then I was just going to put the little guy and girl on here so some of the kits will have a guy and a girl and some of the kits will have um, a cupid because I don't have 10 sets or 10 cupids. Otherwise, I'd put all 10 cupids. But all right. So that's what my, that's the idea I had for mine. Oh, I'm also going to include in it, I bought this really pretty sheet of um, graphic 45 paper that has these pretty pictures on it and I thought they might be nice for on the back of the card so the back will go together this will go in here like this and I just thought this on the back might look nice and you know then you could write um, January your paper pantry and put your name on it because it'll be yours. So in the kit it's going to have this piece of paper for the back, red paper, some kind of glitter paper, it'll have the charm put together, it'll have a bow, it'll have one of these little bows, it'll have a piece of lace, and it'll either have a set of um, people or a Cupid. So that's what I'm putting in my kits. Oh, I don't know if I said in the little bows. I have those drying over on the counter right now. So the deal is swaps open on the 25th. They close on the 5th of January. Uh, this swap is limited to 10 people. So you need to sign up quickly. Then you need to check back on the 6th of January to see if 10 people did sign up so you know how many kits to send. Then you send kits, not put together um, pocket cards. You send the kits to make a pocket card. Uh, last year or in the past we've called them artsy fartsy tickets but now I want them to be artsy fartsy pocket cards. They're really like an artist trading card but they're a little bit different. Not much but 
kind of, it, they're different in that it's a kit. It's a kit for someone to make. So we're going to call them pocket cards. I forgot something. <laughs> Before I put this on and these people on <laughs> and the bow on, I should, I could put this on now. And I really love this one. It says there's no remedy for love but to love more. And, um, yeah, I, I'm really trying to remind myself every day that there's a lot of sadness in the world and I can choose to be sad or I can choose to be happy and I'm going to choose happiness over sadness. Okay, so I have the lace on there and I have these really pretty hearts, felt hearts that I wanted to use that I got... A, you know, they came with my Christmas stuff. I don't know why they had these in, you know, with Christmas trees and stuff. Well, I guess, you know, hearts are nice at Christmas time too. But I thought they'd be great to use for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to put that on next and then put my embellishment here. And here comes my helper. And then put my bow here and my people down there. Probably it'd be better to use hot glue, but that's right, this glue will dry. My little guy and my little girl. I might have to put a little um weight on here to get this to lay down good but I think that's kind of cute and it's got lots of stuff going on so there you have it that is going to be my valentine theme uh -huh, artsy fartsy pocket card okay all right I hope that makes sense if it doesn't please Leave your questions in the comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday. It's Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.